Ugh. Move over, Jason. What's up, guys? Welcome to my, what is this, my third Q&A, I believe. Yeah, this is my third. Uh, before I say anything, um, I am still very sick, but you know what? I'm gonna do this Q&A video. Um, right now I'm eating a bowl with hot dogs in it. It's just a bowl with cut up raw hot dog, and I'm eating it. To cut up hot dog. I eat weird shit, I don't know. Um, anyways, but yeah, I've been really sick. Really, really sick. Uh, I do not feel good, but, um, yeah, let's just do this Q&A. I actually don't have too many questions. I actually just have, a, like, the right amount. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> Sorry for my really crappy voice. Where are we? No, no, no. Yeah, okay, so I have 22 questions. Ah! Alright, again, we're starting from bottom to top. And I'm sorry for the picture quality. I'm filming this at, uh, like, 11.30 at night, so... Yeah, alright. <clears throat> First question, Brian Gatto. Gatto, Gatto, I don't know. He says, do you think I should make a Q&A video? Go ahead. I mean, uh, yeah, sure, do it. But don't make the st same mistake that I did. Um, I had like 30 subscribers, and I did like a little Q and A thing. Um, don't do it if you have like a weak fan base. Make sure you have like a lot more people, you know. But uh, just wait a little bit, you know, just to like get more people. But if you want to do it, go ahead. Um, yeah. Uh, he also says, "What are your top?" Five favorite movies to watch around or during Halloween. My top five movies I love to watch during Halloween are Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat is a traditional movie I have to watch every Halloween. Um, but yeah, Trick or Treat. Say, are you not? I here. I'm just gonna get the DVDs and I'll show you guys. Okay. So I do have some movies. These are the movies that I love to watch during Halloween time. Um, <clears throat> the first one, of course, Trick or Treat. I have to watch this every Halloween, no matter what. Um, I got this weird looking cover. Do you ever see this cover in stores? I don't. That's why I got this cover with the uh, pumpkin head face. Um, but yeah, so Trick or Treat. Uh, Satan's Little Helper. It's a great, great movie. Please watch this. Um, this is like all about Halloween, so. Um, and then of course, Halloween. Um, I prefer Rob Zombie's Halloween. I know. I know, but, um, I don't know. It just seems more like of a Halloween feeling to it, so. This one. <clears throat> Another one is House of a Thousand Corpses, which I do not own yet, but. Um, I love to watch those during Halloween for some reason. And then, of course, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually like to watch these around, uh, or watch this around Halloween, November, December. So, yeah. Those are the five movies. Uh, let me fix my camera here. Alright. Uh, Jasmine Joel asks, do you have a girlfriend? Winky face. Do I have a girlfriend? No, I do not. I am single at the time. I, uh, yeah, I'm single. <clears throat> Halloween 661 says, thanks for answering my questions. No problem. Uh, what are your favorite horror films with twist endings? Saw. Any, all the Saw movies. Saw is the greatest, uh, horror movie franchise that's like pretty much the master of twist endings in my opinion um let's see saw yeah all the saw movies um what is your all-time favorite cover art on a horror movie oh that's a tough one hang on i have to look at this first all right um my favorite cover art on a horror movie, even though I don't have it, I'm going to go ahead and have to say The Evil Dead. Um, 
don't want the girl like raising her hand like that. I love that cover art. That cover art just like that is like the main point of of horror movies. That and Drag Me to Hell. Those are my favorite um, horror movie cover arts. But then again, they're just so much. Like I don't. I know there is so much more, but I cannot think of it right now. But yeah. Okay. Art Games asks, have you ever seen The Reef? The 2010 shark. Yeah, I have. I have. Um, the Reef is... Yeah, I've seen it. It was pretty good. Um, have you ever seen Somebody Help Me? Um, no, I have not. I have heard of it and its sequel, though. It looks pretty interesting. Um, and do your parents yell at you and what for? And what for? different reasons uh do my parents yell at me hey, yeah of course i mean everybody's parents yell at everybody at some point but um they actually don't yell at me too much i just spit everywhere right now but um they actually don't yell at me too much it, it's just like the occasional like jacob come take out the trash or jacob Go feed the dog, or Jacob rub my feet, it's just stuff like that. Um, I, that's not much of like yelling, more of like a demand. But um, yeah, they yell at me for like uh, I need to clean my room, just stuff like that. You know, typical parents. Uh, which is better, real evil or knock knock two? You're just trying to piss me off, aren't you? No. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, let's see. Both of those movies were in my top 10 worst movies of 2012. Real Evil or Knock Knock 2. I'm going to have to go with uh, Knock Knock 2. Only The only reason why is because the title, Knock Knock 2. It had nothing to do with the first one. Um, overall, it's, like, it's still not a very good movie, but... Um, Real Evil wasn't very good either. I didn't really like that one, but Knock Knock 2 is the worst. Okay. Harold McCassie asks, do you use Skype? Um, Skype. I do have a Skype, however, um, I'm not going to tell you my uh, username or whatever it is. I First of all, I barely go on Skype. Like I barely, I barely use it. Only for like special occasions or when I'm talking to somebody like long distance. Um... Like I, I I don't use Skype to just like talk on talk with people like normally. Uh I just like rather socialize with them in person instead of like on a freaking computer. But um I use Skype for occasionally. Uh I do not feel like giving up my username just yet, however. Um I will give it out eventually, but just not right now. Uh worst horror D V D cover art. No. Oh. This is the worst horror movie DVD cover art right here. But it actually looks pretty cool with the slip cover. See, look at crappy DVD art. Awesome DVD art, so there you go. I don't know, that was just right there, so I just picked it up. Um, if you get to publish a horror novel and I get to be a director, what would, would you let me adapt one of your novels for the big screen? Uh, <clears throat> I am planning on doing horror novels, and I'm also planning on directing my own horror novels, so, um, I was already planning on doing that myself, like, directing my own horror novels, so, uh, thank you for your concern, but no thank you, I would much rather have me direct my own horror novels, but, thanks for your offer. <laughs> um, best to worst found footage movies you've seen. Oh god, best horse, let's see. Oh no, I'm all out. Damn it. Alright, best horse. Um Best Horse Found Footage Horror Movies. Uh The best found footage horror movie I think I've ever seen has to be Record. Record one and two. And Cloverfield. I think those are my like top three favorites. Oh, and VHS. 
and a bunch of other ones, but uh, those are my favorites and the worst found footage movies I've seen. Uh, again, Knock Knock 2, Real Evil. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, found footage horror movies. I have not seen... Yeah, I have. Crow's Nest, I just recently saw. I did a review of it. Um, that was okay. wasn't bad or good. Um, Bigfoot, The Lost Coast Tapes, I just recently seen. Again, it's mediocre. It's okay. Nothing awesome. But the worst? I did not like Blair Witch at first. When I first saw Blair Witch, I thought it was really stupid. But, um... I don't know, I might watch it again and see how it is, but... Ah, the worst? Probably Knock Knock 2, I don't know. Uh, Horrorboy101 asks, Who or what... Who or was your favorite character on The Walking Dead? The Walking Dead, in my opinion, I'm not really liking it right now. Um, I do not like the season, I don't know. Yeah, I just... I like the first season so much. The first season's awesome, but... My favorite character on it, I don't really have one, to be honest, uh, I don't know, they're all cool to me, I guess, my favorite would have to be Daryl, cause Daryl's just a badass like that, I don't know, um, Art Games asks, if you have sex with Paris Hilton and you found that she had crabs, what do you do? Well, let's see, if I had sex with Paris Hilton and I found out that she had crabs, uh, well, first of all, I don't think I would ever do that to Paris Hilton, because, to be honest with you, I don't think she's that pretty, but, uh, at that point, I probably would just end my life. I don't know. <laughs> Batcat1313 says, hey, Jacob, what's up? Hi. You said that you were not planning to see Total Recall at all. Why? <clears throat> Total Recall, I just, I don't, it's not something I seem too interested in to seeing. Uh, it looks cool and all, I guess. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't look like something I'd see, you know? He's gonna stand right here, just, alright. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I might see it, I'm not sure. It's just not something that I would want to see. Uh, hell, my nose is super stuffy right now, and it can't... Okay, this is almost over. No, my baby! Alright. Last four questions. Halloween661 asks, uh, If Jason Voorhees was trying to break through your door... The object to your left that you first see is the object to you use to fight him off. What is the object? I always see these posts on, uh, like, Facebook and stuff. They're always like, This is zombie apocalypse. Use the item on your right to defend yourself. What item is that? I always see those. Um, sadly, the object to my left is my laptop. So, uh, that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I love my laptop. Uh... <laughs> Since you like horror novels, do you read any work from Stephen King? Oh, hell yeah. Stephen King. He's like the master of horror novels. I have a few of his books, I think. Hang on, let me go see. I have a couple. Hang on. I know I have some somewhere. Alright, I have Thinner, Thinner, I did not like the movie, but I really like the book, and then I have, of course, The Mist, so, I think these are the only two Stephen King, oh no, wait, I have another one, hang on, uh, where is it, <gasps> oh, here it is, how did I miss this, this is like the biggest book, um, it's called Cell. Stephen King's Cell. I have not read this yet, but it looks interesting. So, uh... Those are the only Stephen King books I own, but... I've actually borrowed a lot of them from, like, other people. So, I have read a lot of his novels. He's a really good author. Um... Where am I? Oh. 
Okay. What two horror directors would you want to see direct a horror film together? The two horror directors I would like to see film a movie together are... Crap, that's a tough one. Let me see. Hang on, hang on, hang on! Let me see. Adam Green, because he's just awesome. And, uh... Hell, why not? Wes Craven. No. No, 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 I take that all back. Wes Craven, John Carpenter. I would so totally want to see a movie directed by those two. Um... Yeah. Wes Craven, John Carpenter. Um, do you think Adam Green would be a good choice to direct a new Friday the 13th film? That would be super incredibly awesome. I would love to see that, but um, I don't think he would want it. I don't think he would do that, to be honest. I can't see him directing like a Friday the 13th movie, but hell, that'd be cool if he did. Um... I keep spitting everywhere. Do you guys see that on camera? I hope you don't. It's kind of nasty. But anyways, guys, that's all the... <laughs> I just choked on my own spit. Anyways, that's all uh, the questions I got asked for this week. That's not too much. That's actually a pretty decent amount. And this video is actually not as long as my other ones. So um, I think I did pretty good. Thank you guys for asking those questions. And please... Please leave a question down below no matter who you are. Just leave a question down below. Um, I will be sure to answer it. Also, do not forget to check out my Facebook fan page and my blogger account. I don't even know what the hell a blogger is. I just made one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Please ask a question down below. I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Oh, and I'm sorry that I sound so awfully sick lately. I just... I don't feel very good, but, uh, hopefully I get better and start making more videos, but, uh, yeah, see you guys later, bye!